Well, hello everyone. Today uh, I'm going to be putting in this, you know, car stereo, radio, whatever you want to call them, into my LS tractor. So I figured, uh, you know, for $35 for a radio, uh, you know, why not? Why not put one in? So this comes out. This is just snapped in. If you look at it, it's just got these little plastic tab snaps. And then you have uh, your hole here which is you know just like a thin plastic shell um, if you bought the big bulky radios there's an extra bracket you can buy to go in here and I'll put a link to that in the description if you're really interested in that bracket I'm not planning on putting that bracket in because the radio that I selected is a very thin lightweight small radio that is going to be more than enough supported by the plastic this one I uh, got really good ratings online Again, I'll put links to all the stuff that I'm using to put in uh, the stereo. But uh, this this stereo at this time was $31.99. That'll fluctuate a little bit, you know, if people start buying these radios or not. But um, but man, it are, it had like 2,500 reviews or something like that, and everybody just loved this radio for the price. So um, let me go ahead and open that box and show you what's inside. This is what I mean by I don't I'm not going to use the bracket. I mean this thing. Look how small this thing is. I mean, you don't have CD players anymore that you need to put in. So, uh, this thing weighs nothing. I don't, I'm sure this is much easier and lightweight, probably as, as lightweight as the air conditioner module that goes in there. Uh, but it has all the features that I want. It's got the Bluetooth, uh, features and, um, uh, hooks to your phone and can play music from your phone or has USB charging or you can put USB in there. It's got an auxiliary. So, I mean, it's basically everything that my other radio had. Uh, minus it had a CD player in my other one, I believe and uh, I just didn't need it I didn't need to I never use the CD player. So this is everything and then I mean like I said It's back in the back. It comes with the wiring harness here uh, to, That goes into this radio and then connects to you know If you wanted to clip the end of your wiring harness or there's actually an LS wiring harness that you can buy Again, I'll put a link to that when I find that in uh, in the description because I saw that online for sale, too but again, it's it's for me, it's unneeded. It's not, you know, I, I actually am just going to use um, some uh, connectors that push into that wiring harness. So I don't, I don't plan on cutting any wires or messing with another wiring harness. But I'll put links down there if, if you, uh, if you want those, and if that's, you know, kind of the way you do your installs, great. And it comes with like a little, little manual too, some basic information. Um, but all in all, it's pretty cool, pretty decent little radio from, uh, from the review. So I'm going to test it out and. And see but let's get this thing installed so uh, I've got the front of this off if you reach your hand in there you're gonna find this is the antenna hookup this is the hookup that for the tractor this is your your left and right on your speakers and then your positive and negative for your uh, power and again in this video description I'll put down in there the uh, what color the wires are and what uh, what they mean so um, basically I printed it out you know like the pink wire here is the hot wire you know blacks ground you know all the basic wiring I'll put that uh, in the description of the video so you can just go ahead and and have that and print that out if you need to put that in um, I'm gonna go ahead and this has the tabs locked in on this I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the little pieces it comes with to lift these tabs like this and uh, and take this bracket off because you got to get this bracket mounted in this hole here and then there's the metal tabs I don't know if you've ever put in a car stereo but you can use these little metal tabs that's what they they're for to bend and uh, you bend them down and push them against the plastic here to hold this in place I'm gonna get that squeezed into here it's actually cut pretty good uh, you don't really have to do much to, to make that work. It slides in pretty easy. So that's there. You got to get, like I said, you got to get a screwdriver to push all those tabs in. I'm going to go get that. And then uh, we're going to hook up this wiring harness goes to the back of the stereo here. Like this. Now that's plugged in. I mean, when I say small, look how tiny this is. I mean, this more than enough. Uh, you know just being held by this but now that we got the wiring harness installed on here then we're gonna put connector ends on all of these wires match them up to the harness here 
you know, hook the power up and you'll be ready to go. Then you snap this in. You got the plate up here and I got a screwdriver. I'm pushing these little flaps in best I can. First with the screwdriver and then I'm going to come back with a pair of pliers to try to get them really put on there good. Something like a pair of needle nose. You should be able to squeeze those in nice and tight. see it's getting a little tighter as I go so now when you slide that radio in it should hold nice and tight inside of there and like I said this goes to the uh, the antenna and then I'm gonna take this wiring harness back out so I can match up the wires to this harness and get everything plugged in uh, based on what wires I'm going to use. You can pick up one of these uh, cheap wire cutters and crimpers and uh, here's like a cheap little wiring set with all of these connector ends. That's what I'm basically going to be putting on the back of this because if you look at it these are the female ends and I'm just going to crimp on some male ends that fit in here like so. This is a metal a male end and that's gonna just slide right into that female end just like it would if it was the connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and put six of these ends on the right speaker pieces and then see if I have a male end for this little bitty one here for the power. If not, that one uh, I may just cut and splice into or do something like that. All right, so on this harness, you've only got two speakers and uh, so it's only going to have a, a left and a right, positive and negative in here. And uh, that's what we're going to hook up to the front speakers. I'm going to hook that to the front speakers on the uh, stereo. And that leaves the back speakers if I ever want to install something else in here, which I'm pretty sure I won't, but um, who knows. And then these are the positive and negative wires. One's an accessory positive, one's an always hot. This one here is always hot. And then you got your ground and then your accessory on so it's just on when you uh, turn the key so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, putting these little connector ends on the harness so I can start getting it set up all right so this is what I got going on here so for the pink wire here this is a constant battery power so that way you can always have like your clock set or whatever it keeps your presets you know whatever you have in there this one I didn't want to cut and I can't find a connector that, that is that small. Uh, so instead of just jamming the wire in there, which I didn't really want to do, I just put an inline splitter and uh, this seems to have worked really well. And so I push that in, I'm going to close and cap it so that way it doesn't ground out in anything in there. And then again, these were all male ends of these uh, push connectors, the little pamphlet that it comes with tells you what all these wires are. This blue wire goes to like an electric antenna or an amp when the radio comes on. Since I don't have that and I don't plan on using it, I'm just leaving it. It's already got uh, the, the heat shrink wrap on there, so I'm just going to leave that as is. The other two speaker wires, um, I just bent the ends of them so they still had the insulation on them and I wrapped them with black tape so that they won't ground out in there. And I think that's about it. It's pretty much ready to go. So I go in here, plug the wiring harness into the radio. I plug in the antenna. And before I push it in, let's test it. Uh, let's see. There it is, says welcome. So the radio works great. Let's go ahead and 
That's basically it. The reason I didn't snap it all the way in is I'm actually going to run a little tape around this so that I don't want any of these little these little push-ins. I mean, they're actually holding pretty well. They've got some good friction holding them in, but I'm going to wrap some black tape around that just to make sure they don't vibrate off. And uh, I'm going to make sure all of the antenna seated in, and then I'm going to slide that in. But hope this video helps someone. If y'all like the video or any of the videos help, you know, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and, and put down in the comments, you know, if there's anything you've got that's tips or tricks or hints or anything that you know of. Um, you know, if you've done this before, if you've had this radio, you know, let us know how everything's going. But uh, hopefully this video will help someone and you guys take care.